This guy commented for 20 days. Challenge, bomb shooter, alchemist, village. Hero is obviously Striker Jones slash Biker Bones, whichever is better for bomb shooter buffs. All right then, we of course are gonna be using this strategy. And by the way, Alk buff in the bomb shooter is definitely interesting. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, our opponent has Gwendolyn as his hero. We instead, of course, are rocking with my man Biker Bones. Yes, he is better than Striker Jones, in my opinion, especially in regards to late game because the level 20 triple damage, that is OP. But probably gonna start off with the bomb. Do we go for it right here? I guess. I don't know if this is actually the play because I don't typically use the bomb on this map, but it's the play that we are going to do nonetheless. We're actually gonna go for that extra range upgrade. And then after maybe one more income boost, we're also gonna go for the frag bombs upgrade on this bomb. We're not gonna be going for an early biker bones. I just don't think it's going to be worth. Can we actually fully defend here? It looks like we can. Oh, he's got Druid. Ooh, so Druid with Gwendolyn is definitely a ballsy, ballsy play. I'm gonna send space greens here just because I really wanna make sure that we can easily go for the cluster bomb here. It would be nice if we could go no lies last here. But at the same time, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Maybe if I can get this uh, cluster bomb. Okay, got it. No, you're lying. Oh my god, two two balloons. Bru mm, okay, it, it's fine. It, it, it's Boltrix. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It, it stings a little bit, I can't lie. Um, okay, so he did go with the bottom path upgrades on this druid. Yeah, he wants to get an increase of attack speed, of course, on that druid. So, and he's max ecoing. Yeah, okay. He's going to want to go late game. He could eventually regen his lives, but if he does with having the Druid, he's going to lose out in the increase of attack speed that he built up for those Druids that he gets the increase of attack speed on, if that makes sense. So hopefully when we go late game, he just wants to rush us because I want to see the strategy in action. I'm actually curious uh, to see it in action. And do I need to go for heavy bombs? Ah, uh, I don't know if I did or not. Looks like one red balloon got through, which is fine. Uh, but I know... I think I would need the Heavy Bombs upgrade for round five space whites if he happened to send those. So I'm okay with going for the Heavy Bombs here. But yeah, Bomb and Alchemist, I've never, I don't think I ever have tried out this tower duo together. So should definitely be interesting, but out buffing the bombs doesn't really make sense. So at the same time, like, although it doesn't make sense, I'm excited to see it in action, okay? But here on round five, grouped freaking greens it is. It actually isn't smart that we are both using pure eco strategies thus far uh, when we are popping the balloons rays that come out the map, right? I mean, he's going to have alt eco with having that druid, so he's got that going for him. But round six here, back to space blacks here. And we should be chilling just this set to last, right? Yeah, yeah. So the reason why I didn't go for an early biker bones, by the way, is because I've noticed that people tend to not go for Biker Bones until later on. And notice how, like, I've been max ecoing, bro. Like, I don't even have all that much money right now. So if I were to go for Biker... Wait, why is it balloon boosting? Are we fine? What? Okay, I guess not. Some balloons are gonna get through. Whatever. It's fine. It's only a few blues here and there. Could be worse. I'm not tower boosting to that. Heck freaking no. So, yeah, I don't think that balloon boost was necessarily worth it. But as I was saying, if we would have went for a Biker Bones, like notice, I don't even have all that much money or eco. I would have even lower money in eco. So that would not be good, of course. So that's what I think now going for a Biker Bones is going to be the play, which I'll have Biker. Do I want him like right here or do I want him in like a bad spot? I don't even actually know. Shoot. I'm going to have him in a bad spot, like more over here. Oh, no. I didn't even get him down. I'm actually so bad for that. I'm actually so bad for that. It's just because, like... I don't know, man. I'd rather have the balloon crush. My future balloon crush, like, right here, you know? That's kind of my thought process. Oh! Okay. Bro. I did... Okay. I didn't mean to set that down, bro. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. So, do we go with another cluster then more up here? I guess so, right? So, yeah. We'll have it... Right about there. Round 11 is here. Okay, kind of scary, but I don't know. I think we're fine with one cluster for now, actually. So then we can go for a village right here, right? Yeah. Go for that. Beautiful. Are we fine against space rainbows with just one cluster? I actually don't know. Let's see. 
It looks like it so far. Wow, Cluster Bomb is strong, boys. And if you have double Cluster during the mid-game rounds, you're literally fine against everything. So, I would like to have that just to be safe, kind of. He's only equaling with greens right now, so... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that. At least just the cluster bomb. I won't cross path it just yet. But let's get back to equaling. Oh, I could have went for a lead to gold. I could have went for a lead to gold. I completely forgot about that. Round 14 AI leads here. Okay, that's a throw on my behalf. But you know what? It's fine. I completely forgot. Like, I guess I could have out buffed <laughs> a bomb. Just as like kind of seeing in action, right? But uh, that didn't even cross my mind. If I'm being completely honest, okay? So, yeah, he's going to start going for that Druid over there. He's going to probably try to get an increase of attack speed for his other Tier 5 Druid. So, we got to keep an eye out for that. Because he'll unsubmerge his sub so that he can leak the Camel Balloons and stuff within the AI. So, whenever he does that, we got to make sure that we either just send a Rush or we just send our own Camel Balloons so that he has to resubmerge that sub so he doesn't get an increase of attack speed for those other Druids. Hopefully, that kind of sort of makes sense, okay? But... Of course, here during these mid-game rounds, we have been max equaling with group black balloons for popping the balloons pretty much as they come out the map. Are there some AI balloons? I think some of them are actually getting by. Uh, but I feel like these rounds have been going by quick. And for that, 1500 eco is pretty impressive uh, for round 17 here. Now, ooh. Okay. We gotta watch out for mobs now. So I'll probably go with... Can I go for... No way, I can't go for a bomb. Okay, we'll go for a bomb like right here then. Just get that down on the map right now and just kind of have on standby. I mean, I kind of don't like how this is a cluster bomb right here, to be completely honest. But we... I don't know. I wanted to rock with double cluster during the mid-game rounds, right? But let's go... Or transition into pink eco now. All right, all right, all right. He cleared that obstacle for whatever reason. Okay, there are camel balloons on this round. Let's see if he, hit, he uh, unsubmerges this up here. He could. I'm keeping an eye out for it. But so far, he still has yet to. Okay, he actually went for a jungle's bounty. Fair play, well done with that. Maybe I actually don't even go for a rubber to gold just yet. But instead, eco with zebras here on round 19. Uh, until about the end of round 21, by the way. Just because he definitely won't like that. It's going to be layering in within the AI as well. It will force some upgrades over on his side. So I think this is a win-win for us. Or did he already cross path that reactor? Okay, he must have. Because he's shredding those zebras. Oh my goodness, man. Right, actually, they're starting to get through a little bit. Okay, he's going to use that level 3 ability. I'll send some purples to extinguish it. Oh, it's more towards the back of the map. Oops. Never mind then. Are we fine against the ceramics? Please tell me. Please tell me we're fine against those. We are. Cluster bomb. <laughs> you know, it's just like deleting the balloons. They just disappear, bro. There's like no animation, no effect, no nothing. Round 20 is here. Okay, I probably should have upgraded this a little bit. Go for that. All right, I'll stun the ceramics underneath. I'll cross path you too. Okay, come on. Yeah, we're good. Because we stunned the ceramics with a level three ability. Beautiful spike factory. Okay, I feel like I won against this guy. Bro, so many people have been using the strategy recently. Oh, we found against these camos? That just looked like a lot of camos for some reason. But I think we're good. Back to pink eco now that it's round 22. I could send him something, but I mean, like, he's got first strike for ZOMGs and stuff. And since we have the life advantage currently, I'm just going to continue on ecoing, okay? And we're going to finally also go for a rubber to gold, since he's still, for whatever reason, uh, actually sending this eco here. So, I guess it's a good thing for us. So, let's go for that. Okay, target you to, I guess, close? Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. There's going to be fortified ceramics here on the next round. Got to watch out. Definitely, I've got to watch out. Are we... Wait. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me, bro? Did I need a tower boost that? I don't freaking know, bro. Okay. <laughs> bro, that so sucks. I can't even lie. That actually really sucks. That I had to waste a tower boost to fortify ceramics, bro. I guess I should have been a bit more prepared. And also, I sold this b uh, bomb down here. I didn't even care. I didn't even freaking care. But yeah, this will be our ultimate uh, balloon crush or our eventual balloon crush. I'm sorry. I'll go for another letter gold here. Target you too close. And yeah, this should be good, right? I mean, I could also go for a bottom pad village. I kind of never did that. But that's because I wanted to go for the rubber to golds and stuff. All right. Wait. Okay. 
Maybe a little overkill. But it's fine. I'd rather be safe than sorry, for sure. Here comes a mob. Did he send that mob? Oh, no, that was the AI from round 25. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, to defend against DDTs, by the way, on round 26 with this strategy, what we need to simply do is just go for mob assassins, okay? That is it. And then we should be absolutely freaking vibing. Is he fought against DDT? I mean, probably not technically, but he's got Spike Factory, one of the best towers to defend against DDTs with. So, I think, honestly, he'll be fine. We could always upgrade this uh, to the top path upgrade since the bomb is a primary tower to buff those. But I'll go for a Moab Assassin right now. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. We might hit, like, 5k eco, by the way. And then call it a day. But, bro, like, I want to go for a permanent brew for freaking sure. Like, so should we have that directly in the center of the map? Or maybe we can't. Yeah, we probably can't. Maybe, like, right about here. Surely that Alk buffs that bomb down there, right? This balloon crush. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, wait. We hit that 5k eco mark. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, so 5-101. I'm going to go for the Monkeyopolis here. Dude, that is risky. Boys, that is risky to do. But hopefully we can get away with it. Oh, my God. A lot of ceramics and stuff. Yeah, this is really risk. Okay, clear this obstacle. These ceramics are definitely pretty freaking scary. He keeps on constantly using druid abilities. All right. So if he sends DDTs... Oh, this is... What? No way. All right. We'll go for a bigger radius then so that this can pop gamma balloons because that's pretty scary. But yeah, okay. We can easily go for balloon crush at this point. So I guess we're good in that regard. But if he doesn't send us anything, then I would like to go for, instead, the Permanent Brew. Oh my god, this is weird. Th this is we Oh wait, maybe... Aw, oh, I'm selling. I'm, at I'm so sorry, guys. I'm actually selling. I think I'd rather have it a little lower, right? That would make a little bit more sense, since it can just ultimately buff more bombs, since, like, half of its range was in within the water, right? So, we'll go for that. I'm going to sell you. Can I fit the bomb in here? It's probably going to need to be a pixel-perfect spot. Okay, round 30 is, in fact, here. I guess I probably should go for, then, maybe another one of these. Maybe another one on top of that. Maybe buff these bombs, too, with the primary mentoring. So, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, we're good. We're good, right? I kind of want to send some of the balloon crush. Yeah, set that in stone. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, we just don't have any BAD popping power. So, we definitely need that. Oh, my goodness, man. Okay, I just... I want to get this spot, but I'm not sure if I can get it, guys. Okay, it's round 36 currently. He still has yet to rush us. I feel like he's going to regen his lives. Which is really unfortunate, because I really want to see our defenses in action. But, bro, we don't even have all that much money. This is kind of bad. It's actually really bad for us. And the permanent brew spot definitely could have been better. I won't lie. It could have been. You know what? I'm going to go for a homeland defense up here. Actually, oh my god. I'm not even close to avoiding that. Bro, I could still go for so many different things. Homeland defense. Um, I could go for the bomb blitz. I do have the mob eliminator and the balloon crush at least. We could go for BMA. Although BMA is probably not worth since we have balloon crush. But bro. <laughs> I, we don't have that much money. We really really don't but you know what like i mean there's still a few rounds left he might rush us but i'm gonna set in stone the homeland defense just so it is ready to freaking go dude he is constantly just using druid abilities by the way oh my goodness man yeah i don't think i can go for really any more bombs oh there's one spot down here every spot counts okay wait he's rushing us okay homeland is this level 20 wait I can't tell. Yeah, yeah. Use all of those. Oh my god, we shredded. Oh my god, we shredded. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Use this. Oh my god, we just gotta pop those layers off. We need bi biker level. Dude, biker level 20 is crazy. But now he's sending even more, bro. Now he's sending even more, bro. Oh no. Oh, no, boys. Okay, we gotta micro this, bro. Oh, no. Come on. 
We just need biker level 20, bro. We're dead. We're dead. <laughs> we are dead. No doubt about it. I'll try to counter then. I don't know, man. Yeah, it, there's no use. Yeah, he's got spike storms and stuff. There's no use. Super storm, tower boost. There's no use, bro. Oh my god. He with the almost. Yo, bro. If I'm using an actual strategy, you get sh in all seriousness, at first, bro, we shredded. That was crazy. It's just with the cooldowns and everything, we, we can't keep up with the fortified BEDs, all right? But the bomb out combo did, in fact, surprise me. So I'd say that's an overall GG. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where this is the best strategy for beginners in Balloon CD Battles 2. See ya.